Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels. Today I'm going to be trying this weird beast deck I made. And then in about half an hour or so I'm going to be changing and making a better beast deck. I'm going to go first. It must be mentioned that this deck is jank. Like I literally just created this thing a little bit ago. Uh... I will at one and end my turn. Yeah, this is going to be the jankiest deck I think I've made yet. And that's an achievement. Oh, they disconnected. What's up this next one? I actually get to try out the deck. The reason the deck is so janky is because I was trying to make a closed-in forest deck. Basically, the goal is to throw as many of my beasts into the graveyard as possible. And then summon one of my actual good ones and just thrash them. Yeah, and because I have others today, I'll probably only be streaming for about an hour. Let's go with... I will set... My super nimble mega hamster. And end my turn. I apologize for having a bit of flame frame lag here. I might want to change the settings on my computer again. Wait, what was that card he's using? Oh, Dinomorphia. Okay. My Mega Hamster is actually higher than him. After flip summon. Let's see if he has a negate for it. Okay, this is a problem already. Oh, is it me that's having the connection problem? Looks very much possible. Let's see. It's in face down defense positions, so. Uh, bubonic vermin.
Ooh. To have greater than or equal to your life points. Well, shit. Set an end, I guess. I might actually be losing here. He's very low though is the problem. Like he's literally going to kill himself almost. It's going to be close. Yeah, I think I'm dead actually. Yeah, that's that's game. Yeah, that's game. Oof. The deck wasn't quite as janky as I thought it would be, though. Let's try another match. This deck like needs the perfect hand to do its best. Cause I have a few cards that work great together. The problem is I didn't have enough to get some good beast links. Otherwise I probably would have thrown in a few of the tribe grade cards. See, this card here is my ace. When this card destroys a monster model, this card gains 300 attack. If this card does not attack, then this returns to zero. The whole goal, have everything be destroyed, throw down this guy, and start smacking. Oh, it's a sliver. Oh, he has not played that deck before. He just cancelled his own card. He's a newbie. Ooh, I got one of my good cards.
I'm gonna set my bubonic vermin, flip some of my super nimble mega hamster. And then I'm gonna set the nimble musasabi. Yeah, this deck I'm going to do a bit of fine-tuning, but I think it's actually a decent deck. Not silver tier or above, but for bronze it's good. Okay. That throws a small wrench in my plans. Okay, draw a card. Set one. Activate the effect of Tribrate Karas. Discard Ape Fighter. I want to keep hitting him before you can get a cyber dragon out. Max C. Did he really activate the effect? Oh my gosh. My freaking beast pack is doing pretty good. That's actually really bad. I don't want to have multiple of these in my hand. Super nimble mega hamster. Activate your effect. And I'm gonna go for I'm gonna set Desk Koala. And now it's time to smack him. He's almost dead, and he hasn't summoned a single monster, even though he's drawn two. Because he freaking cancelled his one hope. Oh, he drew a monster. Good for him. I'm realizing the downsides of my deck. Oh, perfect. I play the closed forest. I normal summon the ape fighter.
And because I have four monsters in my graveyard, all of my monsters gain five or four hundred attack. Which means this is game. I am actually surprised that this beast deck is actually working. Considering I have a total of four spell cards, no trap cards. Like, this is really a janky deck I made just because. Going first. Going first is always better for this deck. Oh, wait. I will set one card face down. And end my turn. So this card isn't good right now. I have to have monsters be destroyed before it becomes good. Because I need my monsters to die. It's awkward that way. They seem to be thinking really hard, or they're just waiting me out. Way Blackwing. He's going for an OTK. Should have played my Momonga. Samoon the Typhoon. Oh no, the Poison Wind. I thought it was the Typhoon. But the Typhoon's a different guy. Oroshi the Squall. Yeah, he's gonna be freaking doing it. He can get either a level 4 or a level freaking 10. Either way, I die, I think. If I don't die, it's amazing. Level 10. Blackwing 4, Armor Master. The effect of my monsters, though, destroy them. Yep, activate the effect of Giant Rat. And the one I'm going to summon is... It has to be in attack mode. I'll summon another giant rat. I 
In order to kill that guy, I need to have 1,100. Or 11 monsters in my graveyard. Or summon one of my really good guys. Like that guy. Step one, change to defense position, end turn. I'm hoping he targets, targets my Momonga. Okay, so I'm not going to use my nimble, my little archer guy, yet. Because I could totally summon Baboon right now. And here's my two Momonga. Like, this deck could totally turn into a stall deck if I wanted it to. Actually, that doesn't sound that bad. A beast stall deck. Nimble Musasabi. Go. Blackwing is kind of just making it so I can't do much right now. Have two in the graveyard. So when I drop closed forest, I can get another 200. Which are you going to attack? Okay. Oh, you're banishing my giant rat, huh? On the field. Oh, never mind. It did negate it properly. Also, tribe grade kit. Although next turn, I think I'm actually going to start using my baboon. Baboon and spiritual forest, I think. I am kind of concerned about these two face downs, though. Okay. Here comes the hyenas.
Now I'm going to summon my Yellow Archer by Boon of the Forest. By tributing my two hyenas. He has a freaking thing on his field that can stop it. That sucks. I activate Spiritual Forest. That is the card he has to destroy. Attack his face down. Yellow Baboon. Oh, he's doing Raid Raptor freaking... Blackwing. Thing is, is now my guys are incredibly hard to destroy. Until he destroys Spiritual Forest. Because literally, if he destroys my baboon, I have two ways to bring it back. And the moment I draw a closed forest, I win, essentially, at this point. Change to defense position. And said monster. Yeah, I'm just think I'm kind of just freaking stalling this guy at this point. Cause I'm not sure what he has that can attack me enough to destroy my stuff. Especially considering I have two Uniflora to bring back my baboon. I'm really just waiting until I draw the one card that saves me. This would have been so good if I didn't have what I did on the field. End turn. Alpha the Master of Beasts. If he freaking destroys all my cards, I can summon Alpha immediately. Yeah, basically, if he destroys all my cards, Alpha will turn this to his thing and then just smack him. In fact, as long as he destroys my freaking baboon, and I think this card, it's enough. Come on, closed forest. That's not a closed in forest. I guess I'll have to work with it though. End turn. I have a 1 in 23 chance of drawing the closed in forest. Which is really bad odds, actually. Yeah, I'm realizing I might have messed up a bit. So 
So in the graveyard. Yeah, I kind of need him to blow up my field at this point. <laughs> kind of funny. Because if he can't blow up my field, I can't do anything new. Unless I draw a green baboon. A yeah, green baboon, I can get rid of these two, I guess. He's still trying to attack. I think he's just trying to uncover what my creatures are at this point. Huh. It's actually going to be a slow game, I think. Because he needs to either get rid of my spiritual forest or he needs to freaking blow up my monsters. Okay, then. Yeah, this is a interesting game, isn't it? Kind of actually hoping for him to be able to destroy stuff I have at this point. Yeah, this guy's problem is that it negates effects too. But the thing is... My guy's effects happen when they're destroyed already. So it honestly doesn't matter too much if he freaking puts a wedge counter on them. Yeah, an effect by other cards effect would stop me from using this to return to its hand though. Yeah, I wish I wish I could speed this up a bit. Oh. My drop frames are increasing. That's bad. Let me just do this, see if that helps. I think that helped a bit. Green Baboon. I attribute Kit and Giant Rat. Activate Kit. It's going to throw another one of my beasts to the graveyard. Which, yeah, Karas is in the graveyard now, too. Change to attack position. I'm going to destroy his face now, monster. Because I don't want him building up a field. My goal is going to be to take him out in one shot. Because I feel like that's going to be my only choice. Yeah, and I'm freaking lagging like hell again. It's weird. Oh, I should have summoned the Ape Fighter to do it. He would have started gaining... Wait. No, I shouldn't. Because Ape Fighter would be benefiting from... You'd get a wedge counter. Eventually end up with my guy getting destroyed completely.
which is something I do not want to see happen. Oh, Blackwing. He's going to summon another guy. Oh, no. Place one watch counter on each face of monster you control that does not have one. That is bad. That is actually very, very bad. Not to mention he's going to have a second big guy, I think. Raid Raptors. I might be doomed. Raid Raptor, yeah, now he's freaking popping off, I think. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this game. And after this game, I'm going to go back to deck building. I'm going to try to make a different type of deck so it's not freaking just lagging. Or not lagging, uh, stalling. Okay. Hey, uh, here it comes. Well, might have been the wrong choice for him, actually, looking at it. Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, which... Oh! Oh. Okay. Well, Behemoth is gonna be freaking doing his job soon, I think. Yeah, he has a way to destroy my freaking thing now. And what was that card he just played? Okay. Yeah, having eight cards in my graveyard is already enough for when I grew up closed and forced to get eight hundred. Oh no, that's game. Yeah. Oof. I read the effect wrong. Go back a little bit more. Okay, so that's 80. Did 
Okay, hope I have enough to get 40 packs. I am off by 50. Let's try one more. If I make it up a tier, I'll get enough. I'm going first. I always need to go first. <laughs> if I don't go first, it means my freaking cards won't be on the field when he starts to do things. Let's see. I will set one. Set two. I'll try to trip him up with that. And end my turn. Okay, I'm hoping he doesn't have something to destroy my back row on second thought. Oh, it's a Skystriker. I'm dead. The moment I saw the Skystriker, I'm like, nope, I'm just dead. Did he not draw a monster, though? Oh, yeah, here it comes. Here's Kagari. The hilarious thing is I have nothing to negate anything he's going to try to do. I am serious. I physically have no negate cards in this whole deck. It's why I made it a joke deck. Shizuku. Let's try the special summon this turn. Redeck your hand. My only hope is to deck him out. But I don't think I can physically do that. Well, thank you for doing that. Yeah, my only hope is to freaking deck out. That card's gonna make that difficult, though. Oh, yeah, that card helps. I shall set my little Momonga. I have a Momonga and Musasabi. And then there's the Hyena. Actually, my Alpha gets around the destroy thing because it returns it to the hand. It returns it to where it is. Oh, or, it, or leaves the field. Never mind. Dark, the dark chamber, gloomy.
Okay. Come on, start attacking. I need him to destroy my cards, but he's not falling for it. Selin. Okay. But why though? Why do you have all these cards in a Sky Striker deck? Oh, access code. He's going for a one shot. Yeah, he's literally trying to go for a one-shot here. What? Seriously, what? I'm actually confused here. I thought he was playing a Sky Striker deck, but he just freaking banished half of his cards. Activate effect, discard Nimble Moon Sasabi. Face up defense position. And then I'll set my Bubonic Vermin. Which is the card I hope he does not choose to target with Axis Code's effect. It's wild that he's banished freaking three cars just to destroy my three little freaking things. I have one card in my deck that saves me though. If I draw a behemoth, this guy's freaking dead almost. Okay. I'm not sure what he was trying to negate. Yes, the vermin has been attacked. Yes, bubonic vermin. Thin the deck out so I have a better chance of drawing the cards I actually need. The thing is, I'm never not going to draw a monster I can summon. Because I only have three monsters that are freaking above level 5. Like level 5 or above. Behemoth? Or not Behemoth, Alpha? 
I also have, what's it called? The green baboon and the yellow baboon. Welp. Special summon alpha. Destroy it now or forever hold your freaking peace. Yeah, I've just freaking lost, I think. Because he's going to keep that Sky Striker freaking mech around forever. And he has two of them. My only hope would be to get like 20 guys in the graveyard and then summon a baboon. Which I don't think is going to happen, because I think I'm just going to die. Uh, okay. I really hate that this is going to be freaking loss again. This is a weird Sky Striker deck. Considering had freaking dark, has freaking Celine. Now you just banish them all. I think this is game actually. Because he activates the, these two, which would cause him to have three in the graveyard. Yeah, that's game. Okay. Let's hope I at least got the freaking 50 points I needed. I think I need a different approach to this deck. I didn't activate a freaking spell card. Damn it. I set a spell card, but I didn't activate it. So I think the way this is going to go is I'm going to freaking open the packs today. And then on Wednesday-ish, maybe? Or next time, I'll build the deck. Spiritual Forest, I guess. Tree one, reveal three, normal trap. Oh, it's a trap deck. I <laughs> dislike trap decks. I'm gonna die, I think, then. 
Because I have no trap removal. Whatsoever. Let's go with the middle one. Okay, draw a card. I will set one. Activate. And, yep. Dynamorphia. Yep. His life points are almost gone already. And Tregino. Kind of glad I have my spiritual force active. Oh, he's doing the really good guy. The 300 attack, negate. Yeah, there it is. End turn. Watch this, my closed in forest is gonna freaking save, or my spiritual forest is gonna save me. Oh, he no longer has to pay to activate their effects. Risky game here, actually. It's really risky for him. Because I have a few cards in my deck that would destroy him at this point. Die Gusto. I need the perfect draw to win. Get bubonic worm and activate. All out to destroy one monster. Sucks to suck.
I hate how I don't have another freaking ball. I hate how I freaking drew this guy. Oh, it's only... So it's the first time a beast would be destroyed, a first time a beast war, and a first time a plant would be destroyed. I didn't understand that's how it worked. I have a way to freaking win. Lily, if I can make it to next turn, I win. Or maybe I just calculated wrong. Nimble Musasabi. Yeah, this this game is just bad for me. Dinomorphia seems to count as this deck because it's a freaking gimmick deck. Now I just need to get somebody with more than eight or 1300 attack. Like if I draw something with 1300 or more attack, I win. Moment of truth. That's actually enough. I summon the giant rat. Nuke the field or die. Oh no! I'm gonna continue anyways. That was a stupid idea. I just lost. I'm just waiting for them to kill me at this point now. But yeah, I think I'm still going to have to modify the settings on my stream again. Because I wanted to reach the point where I have zero drop frames.
At this point, I'm at like 10%. Well, that's game, I guess. The Nidomorphy is a pretty good deck, archetype it seems. I haven't thinking about making a dinosaur deck, I just don't think I want to make a Dinomorphia deck. Cause I don't want to make a banished dino deck if they have Tyranno Infinity. Turn the menu. Okay, I'm freaking five off. I'm just gonna open 30 packs and call it good. Unless this has it. Nope. Now I'm gonna end off the stream by opening up. Let's go with. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Melfi card. Rescue Rabbit. This card control special summon two level. Same name for Jack or destroy them during the phase. Mystical Beasts of the Forest is what I'm going for, so I'm only going to open. 20 packs. Save the rest of them for when I want to make like an ancient gear deck or something. Valkyrie. Alpha Caribou. Melfi Hide and Seek. Is not destroyed. Give to Fames. Card. It's actually not bad. Kirby Ponica. Hands Graveyard. Two other beasts. Names in Graveyard. Oh, it's supposed to summon have one Mr. Beast. Actually, not half bad. I just need something to discard. Oh, I press skip. I hate myself for that now. Oh, that's what I was missing for my deck. Roaring Earth. The target is this Horn of the Phantom Beast. Remember not to freaking Desmanian Devil. Master Crown. Okay. Rescue Hamster. Materia Strawberry. Okay. Crystallic Potential. That's if I want to make a Christron deck. Dragon Maid, which I already have Dragon Maids. Echo. You didn't think damage, damage you took. A Shiny Desmanian Devil. Another Roaring Earth. A lot of these cards aren't actually cards I really need for my deck. Blackluster Sacred Soldier. Um, I 
Okay, that's actually not half bad. Rescue Ferret. Bujinji Ophiden. I have a lot of Bujinji cards. Wimmered Path. White Rose Cloister. Rose Dragon's actually not a half bad deck. Thing is, there's quite a few decks I want to make. Maltiel, Sage of the Sky, Melfi Rabbit, Des Wombat, Seek, and another Yellow Baboon. Oh, this is Raid Raptor Readiness. Okay, Raid Raptor. Thunder Dragon Lord. Okay. He cares Rainbow, Overlord of Dark World. Dark Worlds are an interesting archetype, but the fact that they need to be discarded by your opponent's card effects. Oh, another Green Baboon. Megalith. Comic Hand, Edge Imp, another Evil Hero, more Wrecker Pandas, a Sea Koala, Melfi Caddy, so many Momongas. Super quintessential mech ship magna carrier. Buster Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. Okay. So that's for if I wanted a... What's it called? Buster Blader deck. Or not Buster Blader. No, actually, I think it is Buster Blader. Oh, a second closed forest. Battery man fuel cell. Neo space. Okay, go ship. Hmm, okay. Didn't really get anything that actually impressed me too much. See what this one is. Chaos Dragon, Levianir, Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. Oh, is this the Dragon Maid cards? Yeah. But yeah, I think that's going to be all for now. Next time I'll actually work on a deck on the stream. Might be a Rose Dragon, might be a Beast. We'll see. But yeah. Anyways, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed. And hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.